Hi y'all, welcome back to Mama Sanity. Um, I'm coming back to y'all today, I'm coming to y'all today because mama needs a little help. Um, so um, in doing these videos and, and reading my scriptures and prayers and stuff, it's kind of like self-help too. So I wanna reach out to y'all and help y'all, but it's kind of like helping me as well as I'm, I'm um, doing the videos and I'm reading over the scriptures and prayers that I've written down, it kind of um, reiterates what I need to be doing as well. So um, today um, I'm reading a prayer. It's a yelling mama's rescue prayer and I need that big time. Um, and so um, all y'all mamas out there, y'all may know what I'm talking about. Dads, you know, mamas and dads. And even if you don't have children, I'm sure that you also need this because you can substitute your children for anybody that's um, frustrating you. So let me just give you a little background on this morning. So needless to say, I'm getting ready for church and all four of my children have really frosted my cookies this morning, um, kind of like back to back to back. And so I am like fuming and frustrated and like, Ugh! and so mama needs this prayer. Um, so let me just start out by, okay. So I'm in the bathroom getting ready and um, I hear screaming and yelling as usual. And you know, most days I'm just like, I'm gonna try and let them figure it out for themselves and, and until it gets really bad, then I need to intervene. But I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna try and be going to church like this, you know, screaming and yelling. So I walk in there, I'm like, what the heck is going on, right? And so Haley says, he's, he's, you know, he's looking at me and he's, you know, making faces or blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I'm not making faces, I'm just looking at her. Okay, my daughter, very emotional. Okay, to say the least, I've told you that before. Very dramatic, very emotional, okay? As a, a lot of us girls are, right? So, but she is on this allergy medication. And so um, a friend of mine has told me in the past that when her daughter was on it, um, the certain one, it that one of the side effects was um, enhanced aggression and emotion. Let me tell you, Haley does not need any help in the agitation and aggression and emotion part. Okay, she's got that down pat. She doesn't need any help from any medicine. Not to say that it's the medicine, that's not what I'm saying, but it could be a factor. Anyways, so just, I don't want you, you know, anyways, so that's what's going on. So she's like screaming at and I'm like, dude, what is the problem? And she's like, hey, you know, he's looking at me, da, 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 da. And so I'm like, okay. I'm like, why are you looking at her? And he's like, I just looked up and, you know, said good morning. And she was like, but leave me alone. Da, da. I'm like, so ignore him. And then this just sets her off on a tangent. I can't ignore him. I try, mom. I try everything and I can't. Da, da. And she's screaming. And I'm like, okay, Haley, did you turn around and walk off? No. And I was like, well, that's how you try to ignore him. That's how you ignore him. I said, because if I turn my back right now and you make faces at me, I'm... I'm none the wiser. I don't know that you're making faces at me, so I'm ignoring you and I can't see you, right? But I can't, I just want him to leave me alone. And so then at this point, my oldest son, Colton, he's like throwing in his two cents. I didn't even make faces at her. I just looked at her and said her good morning and da 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 da. And so I'm like, you need to, I'm, I'll deal with you in a minute. Just you chillax, you stay out of this for a second. So then it's as she's like, yes, you did. You like rolled your eyes or something. And so I'm like, again, okay, pay, Colton, I've told you not to roll your eyes. Haley, you again, just turn around and walk away. You wouldn't have seen him roll his eyes. I said, the boy was telling you good morning. Okay, he's your brother. He loves you. He's telling you good morning. Also a little thing. Okay, so especially lately, that's why I don't know if the medicine is involved or whatever, but she's been very like, if you tell her good morning, she, you know, if you look at her a certain way, she freaks out. If you tell her to do something, she starts freaking out and, you know, going crazy and crying, like crying over every little thing. Sometimes even in the morning when her brothers and sisters come downstairs, she, she, before they even say anything, she's like, I'm in a mood. Don't say anything to me. Just don't touch me. Leave me alone. And they haven't even done anything. They haven't even said anything. So anyway, so I'm trying to calm her down. So I'm like, Haley, you really need to, ah, you know, so she was in the pantry for a reason because I'm guessing she wanted her breakfast or whatever. So I know, you know, her job is to feed our dog Zoe. So she knows the rule is when, before you eat breakfast, you need to feed the dog. Okay. So 
this whole situation arise so she's freaking out she goes runs to her daddy's chair and she's just like sitting in the recliner screaming and crying ah. and so i'm like did you feed zoe and she's like no i'll feed zoe when i eat I, i'm not gonna eat i just need to calm down and i'm like okay i don't know how long it's gonna take you to calm down but but zoe's hungry i'm sorry that you're having a situation i'm sorry that you're having issues and you're gonna postpone your breakfast but can you please go in there and feed Zoe so she's not waiting on you all morning to eat? Ah! So she goes, and I'm like, stop, calm down. Just go and feed the dog. So she goes in there, and at this point, my five-year-old daughter has managed to get into the, the pantry. And so Haley's, you know, still in the moon. She's like, get out, get out, like screaming my five-year-old. And so my five-year-old screaming back, no, I want your hands. And so I'm like, what the, Ugh. And so I'm like, oh, good grief. So I'm like, Haley, there's a nice way to say thanks. You could have nicely asked her, can you please move? Well, uh, if I would have, she wouldn't have moved. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not hearing me. The thing to do is ask things nicely and people might be more likely to do it. I said, because if you come at them screaming, Mav, get out of the way, they're not going to want to get out of the way. And so then Hannah starts screaming, crying when I tell her she needs to get out of the pantry so she can get the, because we have this big old tub of dog food that is covered in the pantry and that's where we keep it. And so she, oh, I want my Cheerios. Ah. And so she starts freaking out and I'm like, just let her feed Zoe first. So then when Haley Stumpy and Zoe, Colton gets up very nicely and goes to get the Cheerios. Well, then Hannah starts freaking out. No, I don't want Colton to get my Cheerios. In. I'm like, stop right now. Stop. I said, y'all are being absolutely ridiculous. Y'all are brothers and sisters. Y'all love each other. He's helping me out. He's just getting the cereal. I don't want him to pour it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are driving me nuts. I said, this is ridiculous. I said, why can't he pour your cereal? I don't know. I just don't. I want you to pour my cereal, not Colton. I'm like, Colton's trying to help you out. Just stop. Just stop. And so then my my 10-year-old, Peyton, who's on the sick couch today because he's not feeling well, he starts saying, see, Mom, she does that to me all the time. She doesn't like me. She hates me. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Now you're going to chime in. And I'm like, she does love you. She just She's five, and she says things or whatever, you know. So I go into the laundry room because I need to start. I have, like, two loads that I need to do, so I start the first load of laundry. Well, then I hear her screaming and yelling again. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose it. And so I go back into the living room. I'm like, what the heck is going on now? So now it's my five-year-old Hannah and my 10-year-old Peyton. They're squabbling back and forth to each other. And I'm like, what the heck is the issue? And he was like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna build a fort and I'm never, ever, ever gonna let her be in the fort, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what what brought this on like why y'all arguing about this well because hannah is now in a mood or whatever and she likes to copycat her sister on a lot of things and so she's you know saying me things you know like i don't i don't want to build a fort with you today and but you know just egging i guess saying things to peyton to egg him on and it sets him off and so now he's like well i'm gonna build a fort and i'm never gonna let you in it and blah blah blah, blah. and then so and then she she goes back with it's terrible you're terrible my life is just terrible stop Okay, I'm like, what the heck? Okay, so she gets that from Peyton. Peyton goes around all the time saying, my life is horrible, my life is terrible. Every day is horrible, every day is terrible, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, do you have food on your belly? Yes, ma'am. Do you have clothes on your back? Yes, ma'am. Do you have a roof over your head? Yes, ma'am. Do we beat the crap out of you? No, ma'am. Do we show you unconditional love? We love y'all a lot. Yes, ma'am. I said, okay, you need to count yourself extremely, extremely lucky. I said, it is really cold outside right now. I said, would you like me to take you in shorts and a grunged up t-shirt and leave you in the middle of the field? No food, no water, no blanket, no bed, no pillow, and just leave you there for a day or two? Well, no. Why would you do that? Exactly. I wouldn't do that. I said, but you are constantly complaining and sitting, saying, my life is horrible. Everybody, every day I get yelled at and every day somebody's yelling at somebody and, and my life is just terrible and I have a bad day at school every day and blah, blah. I said, I understand 
situations happen and things can be bad, but that doesn't ruin your life. It doesn't make your life horrible. The scenario that I said before would be horrible. No food, no water, parents to beat the crap out of you, you're homeless, you're on the streets, you're in cold weather right now, and you have nothing. And then so he gets all upset and he's just like, well, I know, but mom, you just don't understand how, how hard I have it. And I said, okay, well, explain to me how hard you have it. And he was like, well, you know, kids at school, you know, like they have PS4s and then, and I'm like, okay. And so you may not have a lot of things that your friends have. You know, we may not be able to go a lot of places that your friends go, but you do have things and you do have a family that loves you very much and you do have a house and we care for you very much. And I said, are we perfect? Far from it. I said, but you better count yourself lucky because there's, like I said, there's tons of children out there who have a, a whole lot worse than you do. Okay. And, and you know, he's, he's skinny and he's shorter than everybody in his class and he's pregnant his growth spurt later. But that's another big thing is, you know, he says, you know, but I'm so short and I'm this and I'm some things you just can't fix okay you can't stretch yourself out to be taller because if you could i'd probably do that myself but you can't so don't focus on i you know i'm like telling them don't focus on what you can't change and just you need a better attitude and i said and the whole thing about hannah saying you know my life is terrible you're terrible your forts are terrible blah, blah, blah. i said where do you think she learned it you okay that's where she learned it and i said so monkey see monkey do like i said the other day and i said the way we all react in situations, that's how other people see us react and that's how they're gonna react in situations. I said, so when you get upset, you know, he's making this Chinese star, paper star, whatever, you know, the other day and he messed up and he just <laughs> tears it up and throws across the room and I'm so stupid, I'm never gonna make it again. You're not stupid, you know, and so it's, it's a constant battle with him on trying to control his anger and aggressions on if he messes up, you know, same with Haley, you know, if she doesn't get something right the first time, she has a freak out, okay. So, like I said, my family is, ah, and we're not perfect and we're trying to work on it, um, but that's why I come to you today with this prayer because after all this happened, you know, and so then he starts getting upset because he, I, I start, you know, raising my voice because he, every time he, he has to have the last word and he has to have a comeback to everything I say. And so if I'm telling him, but you're, you, you are lucky cause you have this and a, but I, this and da, 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 and how about this? And the other day at school, this, and, and when I go to school and it, mind you, he's a straight A student. Okay. Very smart. Makes straight A's. Okay. All my kids do. So, and, but he had to come back to everything. So I'm just like, mommy needs to cool down for a minute okay so i come in my room and i start looking through my my book of prayers and stuff for my videos and i'm just like i need to i know that i have a, a screen prayer in here somewhere so i know this is a very long-winded story and i apologize but um it looking over the screen prayer scream prayer it helped me to calm down and regain my composure and so now i can go out there with a smile on my face and hopefully we can all get along for the rest of the day but let me read you the prayer that calmed me down and so here it is <clears throat> it's a yelling mama's rescue me prayer god please help me be kind help me to be gentle help me to be loving you know that's not how i'm feeling right now you know that i'm very frustrated with all my kids even though i ask you daily to order my day i struggle to receive the in interruptions and challenges with grace Please help me to lean into the times like this. Rescue me, God, from the damage I can do if I don't surrender to your Holy Spirit to guide me. Help me to love my children well, guarding my tongue while parenting with consistency and grace. Amen. I am so glad that I have that prayer. I'm so glad that I found that prayer because, like I said, when I came in here, I just I came in here to cool down, but to find this prayer, I was my my mind was boiling. I was just like, you know, I'm, you know, all my kids are upset right now and, you know, and I raised my voice and I yelled because I got frustrated and that's probably really not helping the situation, but I need to calm myself and regain my self composure so I can go back in there, sit down calmly and have a talk with all of them so we can address these issues. So 
that's my long-winded story for today. Um, I hope y'all have a great rest of the day and stay sane.